Hey guys, this is Genetic Presnia back with another video. So today, it's more about my Audacity fork. Now, if we're gonna get straight to it here, so you might notice some a bit different now. You might notice that it's 1.0.0 right now. So Audacity 1.0.0? What? That that this just sounds weird though. So I mean, this is still same, still the same stuff. So. I mean, I can record audio and it'll still be good, right? Right. So I can play it back and uh, let's do that real quick. So I can play it back and uh, let's do that real quick. So yeah, I mean, basic audio recording. I can probably just like heal the skin effect, amplify this. Uh, okay. Um, turn, turn your headphones down, or turn the volume down, because it's going to be nice and loud, alright, so, uh, yep, be careful right there, um, good luck. I mean, I can record audio, and it'll still be good, right, right, so I can play it back, and, uh, let's do that real quick. Okay, so, uh, yeah, that all works well. Classic generic person style uh, e wait but I'm joking about that. So yeah, nothing much. Still the same stuff. All works, of course. But um, a couple of updates actually to bring you. First off, I now have a name, Saucedacity. It's I said it right then and there. So here we are, Saucedacity. And in fact, although well, um. The fork is still branded mostly as Audacity. In fact, you can even see that it's still using the old logos and all. But you can see here about Saucedacity is where it's most important. So, and this is, the, and also the version number. So, 1.0 release is going to be coming. And also, to give, to get more specifics, or to get into specifics, I will be releasing Saucedacity either on the 10th or either on the 11th. So, on the 10th or 11th. That is the uh, release period. So either by tomorrow or by the 11th. As I just need to actually do one merge and that's it. So I also do need to build this on Windows and all. That's another thing. Uh, so ultimately that's uh, something. And you can see that a couple of things are updated. Um, I've now replaced it. Well. I'm gonna have to change this again, but I can do that right after this video because I'm gonna rename the repository from this to Saucedacity, and you can see the copyright's been changed. So you can see that uh, this name has been added. So yep, and we got Saucedacity 1.0.0. Very funny that this is under the Audacity logo. And uh, no, we don't have any more uh, registered trademarks. Because I really wouldn't consider this a trademark. And you can see the commit ID. All this is, all this done today and such. Uh, GPL license. Still V2. Well, I think V2 plus if I'm not mistaken. But still open source. No CLA requirement either. So no, you don't surrender any such, any of your precious code or art or whatever to me. Because I'm not even like that. And just a little another thing. Uh, the check for updates has also changed, in which it now goes to the releases page of the GitHub um, page, so, of the GitHub web both, so, that's another thing that's been changed, and yeah, along with the removal of telemetry, of course. So, and also, what would this be released on? So, we're going to be releasing this on Windows, Mac, and Linux. Windows will have both 32-bit and 64-bit versions. Now, on Mac OS, however, although I said this is going to be released on Mac, well, it technically will work on a, on a Mac. At least it should anyways. <laughs> but yeah, it, I mean, it still should. It all compiles here, so it should compile on Windows and Mac, as I've done relatively minimal changes, I'd say. Well, I don't know if you can say minimal, but it's not too big of change, it's just rebranding and all, mostly. Again, along with the removal of telemetry, but that shouldn't be a big deal either. 
in terms of compatibility, but yeah, so Windows 32-bit and 64-bit. Mac, I can't release it on a Mac. I, I, ha I lack access to a Mac, let alone Apple Silic Silicon, I, or let alone which type of architecture we're talking here. I lack access to a Mac, period. So, therefore, I cannot just, I can't release this on a Mac, so I can't provide binaries. But the glory of this is that if you do have a Mac, if you're watching this on a Mac right now, in fact, I do ask you, or if you want to do this, actually, I should say, you can go ahead and actually build a version. You can actually build a version of Audacity. Or no, of Saucedacity. You can build Saucedacity on your Mac, and then create a new issue saying Saucedacity for Mac, and boom, that's it. Um, we'll review it, and also, I don't care what, what this is for. It can be for Apple Silicon, if it, it can be for Intel, or it can, even, it can even be a universal binary. So, ultimately, it can be for any version, Intel or Apple Silicon. And so that's a little note there, and for Linux, however, there will be no 32-bit version release. So, and this is because most distros are just dropping 32-bit support or 32-bit releases. So therefore, I'm not going to be making or building a 32-bit version. So, 64-bit only, it'll be built on this, on this exact same machine, which is a 64-bit machine. Uh, Pop OS 21.4 even though I'm using KD and not Cosmic. And, uh, yeah. However, after 1.0, release 1.0. Release 1. Anything beyond 1.0. 32-bit window support is going to be dropped. Or, likely, it's going to be dropped. I mean, we can discuss this further. Again, if you want to contribute, you can just go ahead and fork this repository and then make changes and then make a pull request and all. Just a typical workflow. The thing about 32-bit support on Windows, it appears that Windows 11 is axing 32-bit support. Therefore, I'll likely be dropping support for 32-bit version 2. But in 1.0, I will maintain 32-bit support, or a 32-bit version. Therefore, there's nothing much to worry about if you're on a 64-bit version on Windows and Linux. 32-bit windows, you're going to need to worry about that. Finally, also, um, yeah, that's all, um, yep. Anyway, so that's all, and about my other video about statistics, it appears that, uh, while I'm not really huge on likes or whatever, um, for this video, the only, th I do see we have 49 viewers already as of now, during the recording period. And actually, this is quite good because statistics wise, it appears to be the most successful video I've ever made. However, though, if this means I can get a couple of contributors, then I'll take it. But I'd also like to do a bit of a shout out, uh, hold up, to a bit of a shout out here to StitchFan82. It appears as so. Um, he did suggest the name as uh, when I was unsure, but again, thank you for your suggestion on that. And I mean, you can even make suggestions in the YouTube comments. But hopefully, we can work this out also on GitHub too. So if you want to contribute, go ahead. But I know that not all of you guys might know how to code. So in that case, you don't need to know how to code. In fact, if you don't know C++, that's okay. If you don't know, again, if you don't know C++, you it's all good. If you don't know how to code in general, that's okay either. In fact, I still, you still make a bit of decisions um, leadership-wise and all with the project and what we want to do and such. But if you also do have a bit of other skills, like say if you're a sysadmin or whatever, if we can get like, I don't know, some other website set up or something, maybe not get our pages, but I don't know. I mean, maybe we can see what happens and all. I mean, Whatever skills you have, I'll gladly accept contributions and all. So, yeah. Um, basically, yep. So that's all. So I'll also be, note that I'll also be renaming this repository. So, 
likely you will need updated links um, in the prior video and all. So I will update the prior video by the time this gets uploaded. So yeah, no need to worry about having updated links or losing access to or losing any knowledge of hey where's the repository where's the site and all. But yep, I will be updating the the um, info, the page info and all. Uh, the release, the webo info, sorry. I meant to say webo if I said release this whole time. You get the idea. So, yep, that's all. So, Sauce that's the idea. It's official. Windows and Linux, we're going to be making binaries. Mac, I can, but if you want to submit one, feel free to open an issue on that. So, yep, and that's all. So, hopefully, maybe I can make yet another follow up video. But, yep, hopefully, you like this video, and I shall see you in the next video.